We're now going to multiply, but we're doing it in base 2. Now, multiplying in base 2 is actually very easy because uh, you're either multiplying a 1 and a 0, a 0 and a 0, or a 1 and a 1. And no matter which of those combinations, you're either getting a 0 or a 1. You can't multiply a 0 and a 1 or a 1 and a 1 and get anything bigger than 1. So there's really no carrying involved in base 2 when you multiply. All right, you do have to remember how to multiply, uh, which can be a little bit tricky. So the way I was taught is you start with the smallest digit here and you multiply it by all the other digits up top. So one times everything up here, one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times one is one. All right, next up, is the zero, and we're multiplying it by all four digits. Now this one's a bit trivial, zero times anything is zero. So zero times zero is zero. Now remember, you're leaving a blank here. Uh, so zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero. All right, next you're gonna do the biggest digit here, multiply it by all four. Now you're leaving two blanks right here. Uh, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. And then what you do is you add all these together. And uh, we've got a bunch of zeros, so this is actually relatively painless to add here. Um, it turns out uh, I'm not going to do any carrying in this particular example when I'm adding, but uh, if I had an extra 1 here, you have to be careful. Remember, you're in base 2, so a 2 is written as 1, 0. I'm not carrying anything here, so it's okay. So that is the product I get.